A lot of people are reacting to the NFL's push for social justice. So yesterday, teams across the league devoted time to social justice issues, with players kneeling, locking arms, raising fists. End zones had end racism written across it. Some players even wore clothes with the names of police brutality victims. But some fans reacted with anger on social media. One person tweeted, NFL is a total bleep show with their crossing over into politics and social justice. Nobody wants to see that bleep. Another tweeted, end racism is written at an NFL end zone. Is this the scenario where a racist sees that and addresses his issues? That's just the laziest performative bull bleep. So DBL Nation, we always want to hear from you. We want to know what you think. Write us in. Do you like the NFL social justice messaging or do you think it's too politicized? So you can wait. You can uh, weigh in right now. We're going to look at the votes um, as we discuss, and then we'll reveal the vote at the end. Uh, Jeff, you know, to our new viewers out there, you played college football. Um, you love football. Do you think that it's become too politicized? Where, where, where do you land on this? No. You know what's so weird, Sam? I thought it was a beautiful thing. I love that some of the players kneeled if they wanted to, and some of the players stood if they wanted to. I think it's respect on both sides, and that's what sports in general does, not just football. For me, it was football. But the unity in that locker room, the unity with that team, something that I learned growing up, and the unity of those guys on the field together, it, it, it's a beautiful thing. And then you get this negativity online of all these people saying, oh, I'm not going to watch the NFL you're still going to watch the NFL, and you should be happy that they even have a season, because if they didn't, you'd be complaining about something else. You'd be complaining why they can't get on the field. Well, they are on the field, and they're all in unity. If, if you guys have access to HBO, watch Hard Knocks. They kind of go through this whole thing during the pandemic, during the BLM movement, and it brings the team closer together. I kind of wanted to bring this point up, Al, because do you feel with the way the NFL players are and the pedestal that they're on, there is some sort of, they need to speak out. They're idolized in some way. I idolized Walter Payton growing up, Michael Jordan. They need to be a voice. So is there any pressure for them, you think, to be a voice? Jeff, I think there is. And I'll tell you what, yeah, I mean, you, you and I have talked a, a lot about how there are sayings that have been around for a long time and they're around for a reason because they make sense. That saying, too much is given, much is expected, falls on the, the, the shoulders of these 23-year-old. Think about 23-year-old Jeff and Al. I was a goofball. These guys have the weight of the world. These guys have hundreds of thousands of followers uh, on social media. They have millions of people watching them, and there is something going on that they don't like. Now, let's take the BLM out of this because I know that that's such a polarizing topic. What about breast cancer? The NFL does something where the NFL players wear pink. The, the, the end zones are pink, saying, reminding people, the women in your life that you love, and men, because men can get breast cancer, to get a, a, a regular mammogram. We do things for the military to remember that the, the, our service people are in need when they're over there and when they return. The, the three things I just mentioned are important things in our society. Racism, misogyny, all these drugs, opioid abuse. These are all things that we need to address. And what better time to address them than when a million, millions of people are watching? It's now. So they have that pressure. I'm sure they'd rather play football, guys. I'm sure they'd rather play football. Yeah, no, I think that's a, that's a very strong point. You know, when you look at the causes that aren't so politically polarizing, um, it wouldn't create such a, a I don't even want to say distrust, but there is not only a disconnect, but it is divisive. And I don't want to see that, you know, I don't want to see mm. just equality being a divisive um, movement. It shouldn't be. We right. should all link arms together. So I'm But we you. should remember, Sam, there are people that say, I just want to see sports and that's it. And those yeah. people make up a chunk of the viewership as well. And they have a right to speak their of opinion. Course. Yes, absolutely. Um, let's see. Speaking of opinions, let's see what DBL Nation has to say. 53% of you believe it's too politicized. So that's interesting. Write us in directly. I want to hear directly from you because um, clearly uh, you have a different opinion than uh, us three hosts up here. Um, and by by the way, you don't want to know what 23-year-old Sam was doing. No, yeah, that's, let us never speak of that again. <laughs> You're here now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>